my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. You can see the hardware overview of the G4 Cube. And the big difference on this when it is booting into the Snow Leopard Beta is it takes a very, very long time for it to boot up. Leopard boots up really quick compared to this. And it does take a little time for the desktop to load up as well. You can see the different versions of Snow Leopard compared to Leopard on the Finder. Quick Time is also a different version in Snow Leopard, again compared to Leopard. iTunes also is a different version in Snow Leopard compared to Leopard. System preferences also are different versions compared to Leopard. Safari is a newer version, but it does not run very well at all. You're greeted by this error code because it times out. On the other hand, 104 Fox runs pretty good. It does take longer for it to open up, but it does run. YouTube 5 does not run at all. iCal runs fine, and it is a different version compared to Leopard. The dock does not work at all on the widgets. You're also greeted by this error code. It works fine on Leopard. So I tried running this on my PowerBook G4, it's a 2004 1.5 GHz machine. And it definitely boots into it a lot faster. And things definitely run a lot smoother with it. This is a machine overview of the PowerBook. And the Wi-Fi does not work. And it doesn't work on the G4 either. That's an issue with this program. So we have to use Ethernet to connect it online. Again, same issue with Safari. This gets a lot further, but you will be greeted by this error message again.
10 4 Fox works much, much faster, just about like it does normally on regular Leopard. No problems. 10 5 Tube works no problem either on Leopard, but it does not work on this Snow Leopard. The widgets work fine. So an ending, my impression of this, it's, it's a fun system to play with, the software. Uh, there are some fixes for the Wi-Fi uh, on the Mac Rumors forum. Um, I haven't tried it yet, and some people have had success, some people haven't. But would I do it again? Definitely. Um, it's a good system to play with, but what I do notice is the faster your processor is, the much nicer it runs. You don't have the issues with it. It runs pretty smooth on the power book. The G4 Cube, on the other hand, really struggles with it because of the limitation of the 600 megahertz processor, even though it has a modified processor board on it. Would I do this again? Absolutely. It's fun to tinker around with these systems. And if you have an extra partition on your drive, go ahead and try it and play with it. Again, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.